Morning all, we're at 7.30, it's our usual meetup place and as you can see in the background we've got Peter, here we've got Kevin and in the background we've got Blue Sky. We're yeah. going to be, <laughs> uh, we're going to be uh, decided to go straight down to Ditchland and Beacon and cycle up the Beacon, as you do on a Saturday morning. That's our challenge, uh, we'll record most of it because it's not that far away from here uh, and we'll catch you en route and especially at the top. See you then.
Hey, we'll, we'll stop the, these um, these black marks on the floor again. Uh, <laughs> mysterious, where they kind of come from. Mm, totally mysterious. Hey, Peter. Worrying, really. We, we think it's the local kids. Local kids mucking around at the bus stop. Definitely immature teenagers. Immature. Anyway, a quick stop on our route back from Distant Beacon and on our way home. So we'll be back home within 10, 15 minutes, probably. Yeah. Yep. Uh, we'll see you at the end. Cheers. Hello. Just at the top of uh, Slugwash Lane at the end of our ride for this morning. Stop next to the busiest road in Sussex, it seems. Uh, just done Dutch and Beacon, just got back um, after a, an eventful ride. Just under 20 miles of the journey. Anyway, it's four weeks today that we start landing at John O'Groats. Really looking forward to that. Uh, so we shall catch you in the next few weeks before we get started in our ride. As always, um, if you've been enjoying the videos, then please like and subscribe and you can follow our journey that we do on the entire route of Land's End to John O'Groats and we'll catch you the next time on the road. Say goodbye. Cheers, Steve. See you Bye, guys.